Exploring Blue Skies, Accelerating Air Pollution Control was the name of a workshop held in Beijing this September. It was co-organized by the Chicago and Beijing-based Paulson Institute, which calls itself a think and do tank. And the idea here is to work together around a continual uh, learning and sharing from each other about best practices, the you know, latest research, and then the subsequent activities and steps that will be related to actually thinking about how do you apply solutions, what are the most effective solutions mm -hmm. to solve the problem. The initiative aims to help cut air pollution in China, build national strategies, reduce the use of fossil fuels and establish a strong enforcement system starting off in the Beijing, Tianjin, Hebei area. It comes as the air quality problem in China has reached crisis proportions. Air pollution has figured high on the government's agenda ever since a toxic smog dubbed Airpocalypse has engulfed major Chinese cities in January 2013. This has led Premier Li Keqiang to announce a war on pollution this March. China's 2013 action plan released last September set ambitious goals to reduce air pollution, including capping the share of coal in the energy mix at 65 percent and reducing PM 2.5 emissions by 25 percent in Beijing, Hebei and Tianjin. But still, there is no end in sight to combating the smoke cloud. We want to control the total demand of energy maybe by 2020 as a national policy. Uh, below that, we will do much more renewable energy and uh, uh, natural gas. In this way, it's a feasible or possible that the coal use could uh, peak in the coming two or three years. Then, we, hopefully by 2020, we can see a mixed change of uh, energy uh, if we follow the policy very well. The latest government data shows that air pollution across 74 key Chinese cities worsened in July compared to last year. The cities struggled with pollution on 26.9 percent of the days in July, up from 19.5 percent a year ago. Beijing, Tianjin and seven cities in Hebei province topped the list of the 10 worst air cities. International experience may also help speed up the progress. Well, there are three things that have helped clean the air in the United States. First is strong pollution monitoring, so we know how polluted the air is. Second is strong enforcement. Polluters need to be brought to court if they violate the law. And third is strong citizen participation. If the citizens get involved, then it expands the ability of the government to get the job done. In one of the latest steps to tackle air pollution, the Chinese government announced this September that it will ban the import and local sale of coal with high ash and sulfur content starting from next year. So based on our calculation, if we follow the air pollution control policy uh, of coal consumption controlling, uh, then the total carbon emission reduction from the nine promises uh, will be more than 600 million ton coal carbon dioxide. RTI International, headquartered in North Carolina, is a global leading research institute. In China, it evaluates and models energy and water consumption to help promote greener and smarter operations. I think the Chinese government now is determined to take care of our quality. So they have to start with the fundamentals. Uh, emission inventory is the base for good air quality model. In order to cure the air quality problems, you've got to have a good data set and then good model forecasting the air quality so that we can have good measures to fix the problem. This will hopefully help bring back the bright blue sky. Martina Fuchs, CCTV News, Beijing.